In this video, I will show you three different ways how you can change the speed of a clip inside of DaVinci Resolve for your iPad. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a travel blogger and filmmaker. And on this channel, it's all about DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So if you're into that, consider subscribing, ding a ding in the bang, and let's go into the video. I have a drone shot here and I want to speed up this clip. So how can I do it? If you are in the cut page, you can just go here to this little icon to set up more advanced settings. And you find here the speed meter. And if you go in here in the speed meter, I can change this now. One is equal to 100%. So I could say five for 500%. And now you see everything became smaller and I can speed up the clip. If you have a keyboard, you can also hit R on the keyboard and then you will open up this window as well and you can change the settings there. Solution number two, let's say you are editing in the edit page and you have an in point and an out point. So let's say this clip here, for example, I want to change the speed here. If I now hit R on my keyboard, I get this window here and I have 100%. And if I change this one now to 500, boom, you will see nothing readjusted. What happened? He still changed the speed. So if I go to the beginning and I hit play, you will see that the clip is speed up, but it totally ignored my in and out point And it basically just took the rest of my clip and brought it forward. If you want that, perfect. But what if you don't want that? Let's return. Do right click and now you can go to retime controls. Now you can change the ending and the beginning and it changed the speed. So if you want to make this smaller, let's say you want that your clip is ending here. Now I can take this one and grab it up here and you will see it improved the speed to 191%. This is how you can do it if you just simply want to do this. What about if you actually want to have different speeds on the same clip? Let's say 20% at the beginning, 50% in the middle and 200% in the end. How can you do this? Okay, we can zoom in here and wherever my cursor is, I can now click on this little arrow and then say add speed point. Let's say we have another one here and I click again on this little arrow and say add speed point. Now we separated our clip in three parts and with my finger or my, or my pencil or with the mouse, I can just go over this one here and grab it and I can move it and change the speed of the middle one. I can change the speed of the front one and I can still also change the end if I go on the end of my clip. So let's say, for example, this one, I want to have 200%. This one, I wanted to have, let's say, 100%. And this one, we want to go to 49%. And this is already the first step how you can create smooth speed ramping. I will copy a link here in the description to this video. If you want to learn smooth speed ramping, then watch the other video. I hope you learned something. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding on the bang bang bong. And I'm Daniel. We'll see us in the next video. Bye.